class we are going to continue our lesson by learning how to convert recurring decimals to fractions so we start off by converting 0 0.5 with a 5 with a dot on top means the 5 is what recurring so this is the same as 0 0.5555555 so infinity so First, we are going to say let x in our solution. We are going to say let x be equal to 0 0.5555 with a 5 recurring. We call this equation 1. Now, the whole idea over here is to get rid of the recurring decimal. So, we have to change this to a whole number. Now, for me to change this to a whole number, it means I have to multiply this by what? 10. If I'm able to move the decimal point one step, I'll get a 5.55 with still with a 5 recurring. So I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 10. So we shall have 10x is equal to 5.5555 recurring. We call this equation 2. Now that we are done, we are going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So we have equation 2 minus 1. So we have 10x minus x to be equal to 5.555 recurring minus 0 0.555 recurring. So this will give us 9x is equal to this is going to give us 5. So x will be equal to 5 over 9. So this is our fraction, 5 over 9. So if you want to check your answer, you can punch the 5 over 9 on your calculator and see whether it will give you 0 0.55555, which is what? A recurring decimal. We move to B. Now in B, this is 0 0.63 with a 3 recurring. So this is 0 0.6333333. So we are going to select X be equal to 0 0.6333 recurring. We call this equation 1. Now from this same equation, we have to change the 0 0.6333 to a whole number. So we are going to multiply equation 1 by 10. So when we multiply equation 1 by 10, we shall have 10x is equal to 6.3333 recurring. We call this equation 2. Now, in this case if we should subtract equation 2 from equation 1 this is 0 0.633 this is 6.333 so 6 minus 3 we are not going to get a whole number so there's something else we have to do for us to get zero in terms of after the decimal point so we are going to again multiply the same equation 1 by 100 so that the 3 will keep recurring and when we subtract we get zero we multiply equation 1 by 100 which is going to give us 100x is equal to 63.3333 recurring. We call this equation 3. So now if we should compare equation 2 and equation 3, we realize that when we subtract equation 2 from equation 3, we are going to get a whole number. Since this minus this is going to give us 0. So equation 3, we have equation 3 minus equation 2. So we have 100x minus 10x is equal to 63.333 recurring minus 6.333 recurring. This is going to give us 100 minus 10 is 90x is equal to 63 minus 6. And 63 minus 6 is 50 we have 57 
So our x will be equal to 57 over 90. So if that is possible for you to simplify further, you go ahead and simplify.